Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. Oh, Theophilus, we're over here. I'm here today to tell you, my friend, that where would you spend eternity? What's over there? Look at us when you're talking to us. Look at me when you talk to me, right? And that's more of a statement than a question, but okay, I'd spend eternity. Where would you spend eternity? I don't want to say now. You interrupted me. That's rude. Everybody said they want to go to heaven, but don't want to do what the Bible say. Why are we whispering? I thought this video was why I'm going to hell, not where do I want to spend eternity. Ten reasons why you are going to hell. Ten reasons why you are going. Well, thanks for the emphasis. And I know I asked, but once would have been fine. So on today's episode of Playing a Blinder, we are indeed looking at the ten reasons why I, and probably you if you're a regular viewer, are going to hell. Go nuts on my nuts. Hi, it's me, Creaky. Now the Bible says, all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And that God is perfect and holy, and our sins separate us from God forever. Well, if God is so perfect and holy, why is he such a dick to everyone? Why do people suffer? Why is there poverty and war? And if we are to believe what it says in the Bible about being a good boy and getting into heaven, then why doesn't he prevent these sorts of things from happening to everyone to ensure everyone gets in? To heaven, I mean. God is all powerful, right? He's everywhere and nowhere. And yet he always seems too busy to take care of these sorts of things. But Theophilus here can at least teach us, awful non-believers, how to avoid going to hell. So we should definitely take him seriously. Not really. Come on, let's give him a chance at least. Tidy! Now hell is not a fairy tale. I completely agree. It would be more of a nightmare, wouldn't it? Hot, dirty, smelly. A bit like Port Talbot. But that is presupposing hell exists in the first place and that it isn't just a concept made up by religious people as a means of control. Hell is a, a place that does exist. Hell, my friend, people might say your soul might be sleep. Glory to God. Have you noticed that when some religious people, and I say some because I'm very aware that not all Christians think like this, but when they say something that could be considered to be mean or even hateful, they immediately follow it up with a glory to God, as if those three words somehow negate what they previously said. Y'all are going to hell because if y'all don't believe in the Lord, glory to God. Person talk about hell, say them uh, that Luke the 16 verse 19 31, it was a parable. But this is an actual stu story because a person name was mentioned in the story. Well, if a person's name was mentioned, then it must be a true story because no work of fiction has ever dared include names for fear of the reader mistakenly thinking that Harry Potter is a real person or the Big Bird is actually a big bird named Big Bird. It's just so confusing, but okay, for now, we will go with it must be true because the man in the story had a name. And the, ma the, the person's name was poor man Lazarus. Okay, so that's Mr. Lazarus, first name poor man. Now do his friends know him as poor, poor man or just man? Or does he insist on Mr. Lazarus to keep things formal? That was sitting at the poor man, at the rich man table and it was desirable or the design crumb that fell from this table but the dogs came as a medicine and heal his sore. I didn't understand any of that. All I heard was rich man, poor man table, something about a crumb and a dog being medicine to heal his sore. Lord to God, but the Bible say both men died. Oh, so not really a happy or inspiring story then. Lord to God, and the table was turned on the rich man. Hang on a second, you just said both men died with a customary glory to God. Now is that glory to God that he killed both those men or was it glory to God because the dog killed them? Or did the dog die? Glory to God. And a lot of people say when you're rich, you in heaven and when you're in hell, you're poor, you're in hell. But not what the Bible say. The Bible say both men died. 
and glory to God. And the rich man in hell opened up his eyes, hallelujah, and being in, being in torment, he asked Father Abraham to send Lazarus. Yeah, 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 both men died, blah, 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 glory to God, blah, blah. But how are the Smurfs relevant? That is the Father Abraham you're talking about, isn't it? And the, and the Bible didn't stop right there. The Bible say he remembered that he had five brethren on earth. And he say, Father Abraham, please send them. Lord, send somebody up there that they can warn him not to come to this place called hell. Oh, well, that was nice of him. But he was a rich man. His brethren are probably too busy balling to worry about an imaginary place they'll never go to because, well, it's not real. My assignment today is 10 reasons why you are going to hell. And the first reason, you don't believe the gospel. Wait, all that wasn't your first reason? And this is an assignment? You look a little too old for school, but okay, let's do this. Let's hear your 10 reasons why we are all going to hell. Hey, glory to God, yes, you don't believe the gospel. Now this is 10 B's, hey, so you won't, glory to God, forget the main words, not the letter, the words. So there's 10 B's. You don't believe the gospel. Mark 16, verse 16, he that believe and baptize shall be saved, but he that believe it not shall be damned. So just believing isn't enough. You have to be baptized, a fully paid up member, if you will. Just believing in God isn't the golden ticket through the pearly gates. Second one, you don't believe the Bible. Hey, go to God. You don't believe the Bible. Isn't that the same as the first one? Not believing in Gospels. Aren't Gospels only in the Bible? And the reason why you, say you don't believe the Bible is because you say the Bible was made by man. But in, in, in 2 Peter 2, verse 20 and 21, and, it's, and it read, Knowing this, that's, that's 1 Peter 2, glory to God, hallelujah, chapter 2, verse 1, and, 9, and 20 and 20, saying, Knowing this, glory to God, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in the will of man, Lord to God, but hallelujah, but holy man of God spake and was moved by the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. So the Bible say, my friend, glory to God, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came that in the will of man, glory to God, but holy men of God spake they was moved by the Holy Ghost. Well, it was made by man, I mean. Hallelujah. So that Peter, which is a man's name, making it real, verses 19, 20, oh, and 21 and 22. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Why does he say everything twice? Glory to God. Now, I had to listen to that clip a lot of times before I understood what he was getting at. You're welcome. And I think that what he is, glory to God, hallelujah, trying to hallelujah, glory to God say, is that no interpretation of the Bible will be taken seriously unless that interpretation matches up with the beliefs of that faith. Or maybe he isn't. I have no idea. Glory to God, hallelujah. And that the Bible was written by Christian ghosts. No, not a ghost called Christian, a ghost that was a Christian. Who'd name a ghost Christian? That's just stupid. Hey, glory to God. And number third reason why you're going, you're going to hell, you bow to yoga and other deity that's not God. So you bow. So the first one, you don't believe, glory to God. Second one, you don't believe the Bible, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the third one, you bow to yoga exercise. Yoga. <laughs> I thought he said yoga. I've just spent an hour trying to look on Google for a god that doesn't even exist. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> well, I don't do yoga, but I am very interested to find out why people that do yoga are going to hell. I bet it's the yoga pants, isn't it? Those tight, figure-hugging, show-off-your-ass yoga pants. And I bet he hates what the ladies wear as well. <laughs> In Exodus, the 20th chapter, glory to God, when, when God gave Moses the, the law, and hallelujah, and he said, and, and, and God spake these words saying, 
I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of bondage. Thou shalt have no other God before me. God spake, so God is a petulant child, a jealous man. He say and worship no one but me because I'm the best. Now this is this is serious, my friend. People are worshiping Lord to God. They are doing yoga exercise. They are worshiping the cows. They're worshiping the sheep. They're worshiping the, the, the water. They worship the moon, the stars. They even got their own God in their mind. Oh no. Now when you talk about cows, I imagine that you're referring to Hinduism. And I hope that the mention of sheep wasn't aimed at me specifically. Not all Welshmen have a thing for sheep. It's a myth. Well, it's not really a myth, it's more of an exaggeration. There are literally thousands of gods, and regardless of not whether an atheist believes in you a god, the only difference between you and an atheist is that an atheist believes in one less god than you do. Just one. So if your god has the power to send an atheist to hell for not believing in him, doesn't that mean that some of those other gods may have the power to send you to hell for not believing in them? Hey, glory to God. Yeah. Glory to which God, though? And the fourth reason, also, you not baptized by water and filled with the Holy Spirit. Ten reasons why you are going to hell. We get it. Ten reasons why we are going to hell. But I am baptized, or christened as it's known in the Catholic Church. So can I get a free pass? Hey, glory to God. And number fifth reason, you are not born again. Born again? Being born once wasn't enough. I'm not going through that again. And isn't it funny? You spend the first nine months trying to get out of a woman, and then the rest of your life trying to get back in. Hey, glory to God. Born again means you are born from heaven. Hey, glory, you have a heavenly experience. Hey, glory to God, when you're born again, you're going to die once. But if you don't get born again, you're going to die twice. A physical death as well as a spiritual death. Ooh, scary. I especially like the way you leaned into the camera when you said death. Now, if you can work out where you should be looking, you could use that move again. And next time, it'll be terrifying. Terrifying. Hey, glory to God, ten reasons why you are going to hell. We know. Sixth reason, you are not blessed, but cursed. You are not blessed. Blessed means that you are happy. Not because of money. Not because of things. Not because you got a peace last night. But you are happy. The Bible says, in blessed are, are the poor in spirit, for they are the children of God. Blessed are, are those, glory to God, hallelujah. So the Bible talks about blessed. Blessed means that you are joyous. Hey, glory to God. You're not blessed because of things. You're not blessed because of promotions. You're not blessed because of degrees. You are blessed because of God. Well, I'm happy. Why wouldn't I be? Am I joyous? Not sure I'd go that far, but I'm certainly happy. And it has nothing to do with things, or God for that matter. It is possible to be happy without living in fear of someone you don't need to fear because he doesn't exist anyway. Seven, you are, you are listening to the beast. Hey, glory to God. Then, the Bible. You listen to the beast. Who is the beast? I'm so glad you asked. The beast is the false prophet. Hey, glory to God, I have a lot of series on my video about the false prophet, the P-R-O-F-I-T. I-D-O-N-T-C-A-R-E. And I'm fairly sure nobody watching this video does either. But this prophet, right, is the beast. We got the devil, we got the, the beast, and we got the antichrist. So you listen to the beast. Don't you just hate it when you say a word multiple times and forget the last letter. It's beast. B-E-A-S-T. Beast. Beast. Then the Bible. Number eight. You into Black Lives Matter, which is lies matter. You into Black Lies. All lies matter. That is the Black Lives. On a piano, you see two keys. You got to see the white key as well as the black key. So I'm saying to you, my friend, the Bible says, for God so love the world. He didn't say, for God so love 
the white man, no. Or the black man, no. What the hell was that about? There is no way in the glory to God hallelujah world I'm talking about the BLM situation. And I have to be honest, I really can't see how that either qualifies or disqualifies somebody from entering a place that doesn't exist anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Hey, glory to God. Knife reason. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are in the beauty of the flesh and not about the soul and the spirit. I guess none of this applies to me then. If I'm not getting in anyway on account of my boyish good looks, I guess it's pointless me worrying. You into beauty. What you say you into beauty? You into beauty because you got too much surgeries. You got beauty because you just, you're like a peacock. Hallelujah. The man peacock trying to impress the female peacock. Glory to God. So you'll do your feathers. You get surgeries. You get facelift, you get Botox, you get all these things work, but the Bible said beauty is vain. How dare you, sir? I have had no surgery. This is all natural. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. So if she's not fearing the Lord, she shall not be praised. So why people emphasize more on beauty? Beauty on the outside, but the inside a dead man bones. Bone? Excuse me? You get the bone in heaven? Where, where do I sign up? What exactly have I got to do to get in? I love boning. Don't you love boning? It suddenly seems a lot more important to me to get into heaven. Glory to God, glory to boning in God's house. Hallelujah. Praise Jeebus. Hey, glory to God. And I'm a tenth reason. Glory to God, you are not bright. Oh, well, he's got me there. The reason why you're gonna miss the flight, because you're not bright. The Bible says, lean not to your own understanding, in all thy way acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. You are not bright. Oh, but I'm scared of flying. I didn't know you had to fly to get to heaven. I'm born in or not, I don't want to go anymore. What if we crash? What if there's a long queue for the toilet on the plane? What if the guy sat next to me has B.O. or worse still, wants to talk to me? This is definitely not as appealing as it was when you told me I could born in heaven. So ten reason why you going to hell. You going to hell because you don't believe the gospel. You going to hell because you don't believe the Bible. Honestly, Theo, a full recap is not required. We get it. We're not getting into heaven unless we toe the biblical line and believe the same things as you. Now, I'll admit the prospect of eternal born in is tempting, but... Oh, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. I was kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tidy! So we're all screwed as terrible people and not getting the golden ticket. So no eternal born in for us. But given the choice between believing what Theo believes even though he's going to bone forever, which kind of makes me a little bit jealous, I'm quite happy living my life without the fear of not being allowed into a place that isn't real anyway. Alright, alright, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blind.